Hi students. Uh, today we are going to do a problem on chapter 1 solid state and it's a very important CBSC question. So let us move on. Analysis showed that nickel oxide has formula Ni0.98 oxygen 1. What fraction of nickel 2 plus and nickel 3 plus ions exist? So before we go solving this problem, let us understand what is the defect noticed. Normally, when I tell you to write nickel oxide, we write it as NiO, which has a ratio of atoms 1 is to 1, nickel 1 and oxygen 1. So 1 is to 1. But here you find nickel is having less than 1, that is 0 0.98. So this type of defect, we call it as metal deficiency defect and the main defect is called as non-stoichiometric defect. So, it belongs to non-stoichiometric defect and also metal deficiency defect. Now, let us move on how to solve this problem. Let us consider nickel 2 plus ions as equal to x because nickel is made up of two ions, nickel 2 plus and nickel 3 plus. So, nickel 2 plus ions, let us keep it as x. Let nickel 3 plus ions be According to here, 0 0.98 minus x. Hope you understood this particular way of writing. So, I am going to develop a linear equation with the information that I have. Nickel 2 plus is taken as x, whereas nickel 3 plus is taken as total minus x. The total is 0 0.98 minus x. Now, what is the next step? I need to multiply this amount with the charge. So, I will be getting the, the first step 2x because 2 into x. Then I have 3 into this particular fraction. So, 0 0.98 minus x and the third information. So, we finish up to nickel. If you really notice nickel 2 plus and nickel 3 plus. Now, the left is only oxygen. What is the valency of oxygen? We all know that it is minus 2. So, charge of oxygen is minus 2 into 1 which is noticed here as an amount and therefore you will get minus 2 which is equal to 0. So like this you can develop a linear equation first. Now what is the next step? I need to find out what is x which when we solve I will be getting 0 0.94. The next step is let nickel 2 plus percentage be calculated in this form. 0 0.94 which is nothing but the x the amount of nickel 2 plus by the total amount that is given in the problem into 100 and when you solve this you will get percentage 96 percent so nickel 2 plus percentage is found to be 96 percent from this we can easily now calculate for nickel 3 plus so what is nickel 3 plus percentage nickel 3 plus percentage it is nothing but 100 minus 96 therefore you get 4 percentage so from this it is easy to find out nickel 2 plus percentage and nickel 3 plus percentage based on the given problem and the name of the defect is metal deficiency defect hope you understood children thank you